What is up guys? Good morning, good afternoon, good night, whatever it is for you. I hope you're all having a great day today and welcome back to another vlog. So it is a beautiful Sunday out here even though it is very cloudy and very, very cold. But it is an awesome day today. Getting everything ready to go. Warming the car up right now. Going to be heading out to work in a little bit. Got four stores to get taken care of today. And then coming home and watching the Super Bowl tonight. It is going to be an absolutely amazing game tonight. And if you guys couldn't tell by now, I am rooting for the Philadelphia Eagles because, you know, the last few weeks I've talked about how much I can't stand the Patriots. And it's not the fact that, you know, they've been caught cheating in the past. It's the fact that, you know, you know, it's just annoying watching the same team win over and over and over again, especially when they know that they're the only team that cannot be beat. But I have a feeling that Philadelphia is just going to just pounce all over the Patriots tonight. And I hope it's not going to be like last year where Philadelphia pounces all over them and then they screw it up and give it up in the second half like Atlanta did last year. So hopefully this is the year that the Patriots get taken down again, just like my Giants did it back in 2008 and 2011, baby. They said we were supposed to get some snow today and it is definitely definitely on time. It's just like little flurries right now. I don't even know if you can see it on camera, but we're supposed to get like one to three inches, which is better than what they were saying originally, which is supposed to be three to five. And I really just don't want to shovel. Like I'll take like little flurries like this, but once it starts piling up on the ground, that's when I start complaining. She asking if I want it now or later. She want a player to take it down like elevators, a demonstrator, I weather up accelerator, my navigator, I tell her, Well, a couple of hours has gone by and the snow is starting to stick to the ground and I am not liking this whatsoever. Finishing up at this store right now, we got one more store to do really quick and I am not looking forward to the drive home. Hopefully they've got a start on this, but because there's such a thin layer of snow, they probably do not have any of the roads really plowed. I mean, the main road right now doesn't look that bad, but that's because there's a bunch of people driving over top of it. So the snow really doesn't have a chance to stick to it because of all of the traffic or whatever but this is just nuts like I don't want any more snow and it just keeps on coming in but you know it's just something you got to deal with it's winter it's the northeast it's whatever it hasn't even been 45 minutes since we left the last store we were at we are just finishing up at our final store it's a little bit after 4 30 right now and it's gotten so much worse out here like oh the drive home is gonna be fun this will bring back memories of last year's vlog of what I called the blizzard of 2017 however this is definitely nowhere near what that was there was literally no one around no traffic at all basically and it was just like we were going 30 miles an hour in a 60 mile per hour zone so you know <laughs> that's a pretty bad snowstorm this this isn't as I said up to that level but it's still you know not fun haven't picked up the camera in a couple of hours as soon as I got home I've just been sitting in front of the TV and I've been glued to it the entire time the first half of the Super Bowl is already over the Eagles have a 20 22 to 12 lead over the Patriots. They just got done with the halftime like report and then the halftime show with Justin Timberlake is about to start in a few minutes. But I'm gonna go get food because it's like eight o'clock in the evening. I had a late like lunch slash snack, you know, the usual stuff we do with going to a store and I bought a bag of sun chips and a like to go cup of like the famous Amos again and I just downed those. So it's like I'm gonna wait a while to eat, but now is definitely time to down some good, good food. And the feast is prepared. We got a sandwich here with a ton of different lunch meats, ham, cheese, turkey, roast beef. We have got some French onion dip. We've got some potato chips and two chicken legs to top it all off. I could write about you for hours. Get high with you for hours. I'ma go get mine. Could turn into I'ma go get ours. Running up the water bill, yeah. The way we use the shower. Steam coming out the bathroom. Screams coming out the bathroom.
three yards? Uh, 46 yard field goal attempt to seal this. Come on, this is all you gotta do, Philly. And looks good. <laughs> That's it, baby. This game is over, even though there's a minute five left on the clock. <laughs> Nine seconds left on the clock. This could be it. Oh! There it is. Incomplete. That's it. Game over, baby. Wow, what an absolutely amazing game that was. I was on the edge of my seat most of the night. The nerves were built up inside of me all night long from the beginning to the end. And I'm thinking, I'm not even on the field playing the game and I'm this nervous. Like, I'm pretty sure everybody was, Eagles fans especially. Now, obviously, I'm a diehard Giants fan, but you guys know I have a strong dislike for the Patriots, so I root for anybody that plays against the Patriots, even if it was like the Dallas Cowboys, which is like a Giants fan most hated team. Like literally, it's just something in a Giants fan's blood. Like we cannot stand the Cowboys. We honestly can't stand anybody in the NFC East. But you're going up against the Patriots. Well, for me, that's a different story. So, but all in all, you know, it's awesome to see just great games no matter who wins. And you know, in the end, it's all about great sportsmanship and being able to own up to losing and saying, hey, look, we lost, failed, we're going to work our butts off in the offseason, and we're going to come back stronger and try again next year. And that is really what counts in life. I can remember going back years and years ago where I was a sore loser with a lot of things, whether it came to sports or competitions or just whatever it was. If I didn't win, I cried. And I used to throw a fit and be like, he cheated and stuff like that. And, you know, <laughs> all of this random crazy stuff. And I learned as I got older that, you know, I can't do that. I got to just accept the loss for what it is. And I've got to accept the fact that, hey, I didn't play my hardest. I didn't try my hardest and I failed. But failure isn't the end. You just got to come back stronger the next time and you got to try even harder. And hopefully the next time you'll win. And that to me is what matters. Sportsmanship, accepting failure, and trying hard the next time. That is pretty much going to wrap it up for today's vlog, guys. I want to thank you so much for watching because I really do appreciate it. I want to welcome any brand new viewers that are here right now. I love it that you found my videos and I hope that you come back for more. If you enjoyed this and you so desire to slap a like on it, don't forget to turn those post notifications on down below so that way you never miss when I upload a brand new video to this channel. Also, while you're down there, if you have not already, click that big red subscribe button so that way, you know, you get subscribed to all of the awesomeness that MJC Vlogs is. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another brand new daily vlog. Remember to stay awesome, keep smiling, you're beautiful, and I love you guys so much. Peace out, YouTube. Falling for my side, falling for my side, falling for my side, falling for my side, chick. Now I really wanna kick it, I get.